What up boys and welcome back to yet another Cataclysm pre-patch gold farm. Yes, Cataclysm has not released yet, so this is the last farm before Cataclysm Classic releases. If you want to snatch some easy gold before Cata arrives, keep in mind this farm is valid even in Cata and like future expansions as well. It's an absolute great location. Now, before we dive more into the details of this gold farm, big thank you for all the support on the complete gold guide for Cataclysm Classic. It's a gold guide that features all the best gold farms in Cataclysm Classic and will be constantly updated throughout the expansion completely for free. So if you get the gold guide, you receive every single update automatically sent to your mail. Now, if that sounds interesting, you can find it linked down below in the description. Now, the farm in today's video is a TBC farm, where the main objective is to get reputation items, also the netherweave cloth, and of course, a chance at getting expensive TBC uh, epic items, transmog items, as well as patterns and plans. So, you can get yourself uh, something like uh, the Blade of uh, Wizardry, which is... Uh, if I could spell, that would... That would be really cool. The Blade of Wizardry is an epic sword from TBC that's selling for like a shit ton. Now that's one of many items you can get from this farm, but it's quite steady gold from the reputation tokens, but also Netherweave cloth. The exact location takes place uh, like over an outland in Shadowmoon Valley and at this location, Legion Hold. In Legion Hold, you will find these three pillars that hyper spawns like absolute crazy. Now, if you've been gold farming in retail WoW over the years, this location is not going to come as a big shocker. Even if you play TBC Classic, this farm was also super valid back then, but it still is to this day extremely good i mean just pay attention to the spawn rate you will never run out of mobs as soon as you kill a mob a new one will spawn so you therefore never run out of mobs like they don't do any damage whatsoever they got very low hp so i'm doing this uh, on a fire mage just doing living bomb but if you like any class can do this and a lot of classes can do it way more efficiently than i can it's way above a thousand that are with cloth an hour a ton of reputation tokens and of course because you're killing so many mobs per hour you have a decent chance of getting epic patterns and plants which sells extremely well because people want to purchase those to craft the transmog to sell but you also have a chance at getting epic boe items of this location so just a very quick reminder of this location uh, that you can do now before a cataclysm arrives and even when you find yourself in cataclysm and you want to go and uh, try your luck with some rng of some tbc epics this is definitely the go-to location you kill way more mobs doing this solo than you can in a dungeon so for world drop epics patterns and plants this location is just way better than any dungeon so i uh, highly suggest you guys to go and give this spot to go once again, that was in uh, Outland, Shadowman Valley, and at the Legion Hold right here. So, with that being said, appreciate you guys watching. Super excited to keep on uploading Cataclysm Classic videos when that releases. So, just make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. And in that way, you'll be notified as soon as the videos drop. And of course, feel free to check out the uh, complete gold guide for Cataclysm Classic linked in the description. With that being said... Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.